Hey Parent Hive, it's Amy and it is day four, no, day five of our official quarantine, which lets you know exactly how it's going. We started something new today though. We did an actual themed day. Um, it's a Friday, so we decided to have a little fun, but I themed the whole day after cars. Um, not the Disney cars, but just cars in general. I thought it was a really broad theme. And I was inspired to do this by one of the ideas that I saw about having an at-home drive-in movie. So I want to let you know a little bit about how we started our day. So first we started in the playroom where we were sorting all of the cars that we have, which with a four-year-old boy, we've got a lot of them. So we picked out all of the, the cars and then we went into our books and looked for any car books that we have. Now it turns out we didn't have a lot of car books, but thank God for YouTube because we were able to get a really great story called If I Built a Car, which I will put a link down into the video that we watched and a really great storyteller told the story of, uh, of this. Now, the reason I really like this book is because I wanted to really open up the imagination of my kids because they got really fixated on, um, I'm trying to think of which car it was. I don't know if it was this one, but it was something like this. It was like a, um, you know, like a sports car. Um, anyway, they got really fixated on that and they were only drawing this particular car. So this, if I built a car book was really good because in the story, the kid builds something that flies, it goes underwater, it does all kinds of really cool things. So, so they get out of this idea that they have to build like a specific car. I really wanted their imaginations to run wild on this. Um, after that story, we talked about the things that a car has to have. So a car has to have wheels, a car has to have something to steer it, it has to have something that makes it go, so some sort of engine, and then it has to have a place where people fit. Um, jet propulsion, actual engine, it doesn't really matter. Depending on the age of your kids, you could actually have some real fun with this. It could be very serious. You could talk about combustion engines. You could go to all kinds of detail with this, um, or you can just let them be crazy and have fun. And I'm gonna show you what my kids came up with. So right here, and if I tap on it, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. This is the drawing that my daughter came up with. She's six years old. And this is her crazy car. It has a hot tub. It has, you can kind of see where like it started to be a really normal car. And then we watched that, uh, the reading of that book and she got really, really creative with it. So it has a store, it has a play structure, has a hot tub. I really like where her mind's at right now. <laughs> and uh, it can go underwater. It has stilts. It has all kinds of cool things. This is my son, he's four. And he just had a blast, mostly copying his sister, that's our, our cat who's jumping in, uh, mostly copying his sister, to be perfectly honest with you. Come on, cat. It was really pretty fun to see what he had to do. So that was honestly like the best car he's ever drawn. It was really pretty fun. So that was the next thing. We, we watched the, the video, we talked about cars needed to have, and then we got real creative with it. I told them that our end goal today was to ride in a car to watch a movie. We were gonna have a drive-in movie, which, They've never gone to before, but I said, we're gonna have one at our house. So we wanted to, I really wanted to come up with something for them to look forward to through this whole thing. We can't leave the house today. They, we have no plans to leave the house today and the weather is kind of junk. So we have to be home. So we're coming up with different reasons to kind of enjoy being in different parts of our house. So the drive-in movie is gonna be a big deal. It's the event of the day. I'll show you more about that. Now this part can be as elaborate as you want it to be, or it can be really, really simple. We honestly went both directions at exactly the same time. These are the two cars that we're gonna use for our drive-in movie, and we started decorating them. So Camilla is over here, my daughter. She's got headlights on her car. This is going to be her steering wheel that we're going to attach inside here. If you want to and really make this a, a super fun activity, you can cut the bottoms out of the cars. You could put straps over the shoulders so that they can actually drive their cars around the house. Or you can just leave them as boxes and just they sit in them. It's okay. You don't have to go crazy. Um, you can if you want to. Or you can do that on another day. There's no rule that says it's a one-day activity. Plus, these kids are going to love playing with these boxes for way, way, way longer than just today. We know that as parents, that kids love boxes sometimes more than they love the toys and things that come in them. But 
you know, we've had a good time throughout the day. We've just been able to say, you know, I've been able to say that I'm just, hey, go, go decorate your cars, go color the cars. And that's given me, you know, 20 minutes here, 30 minutes here where I, who am working from home, I can, um, you know, do some work while they're having a really good time. And they're looking forward to the activity that we're going to have tonight where they have their drive-in movie and they're going to get their popcorn and all that sort of thing. So decorating their steering wheel, this was a really big thing for the day because this is where they felt like they could put their creative spin on the car a little bit differently than just the box itself. This was kind of their like emblem and their logo. We started talking about what logos were. My son Malcolm did one too. Again, he's super into copying her right now, so it's pretty darn similar, but it was just a fun way to, for them to put their own personal touch on their car. Now we live outside of Detroit. So one of the things I really wanted to do was focus on the, the concept of the Motor City and then Henry Ford, because we are huge fans of the Henry Ford Museum. And I really wanted to be able to take some time and focus on, you know, teaching them about the actual history of the car. If you have older kids, I would really, really recommend that you do that. Um, I also, I mean, who knows if you want to watch a movie, Ford versus Ferrari, which I haven't seen, but my husband has, but he said it was amazing. I don't know about appropriateness of it for older, you know, even older kids or high school. There's a lot of really interesting stories, especially being that it's kind of a local thing. The Motor City is cl so close to us. I really wanted to highlight that. Today wasn't in the cards for us and that's okay. I do intend to circle back to the Henry Ford concept so that we can talk about some of his famous quotes, some of the experiments and some of the different things that he did, but it wasn't going to happen today. So those are really, really great things to kind of have on the bone, have meat left on the bone in this topic for another time. Uh, and I definitely plan to do that. So we had a really great time with this car day. I highly recommend that you give this a shot. It was super fun for the kids. They absolutely loved it. And it gave us some great structure throughout the day that was flexible enough that we could actually do it. But the theme really ran through almost all of the activities that we did. So I highly recommend it. I believe that this is the way that we're going to try to structure a few more things um, during this quarantine because it just was manageable. And that's ultimately what we're all looking for is how do we get through this and have fun, teach our kids, but not stress ourselves out in the process. So if you didn't have a super educational day today, that's okay. Give yourself some grace. Give yourself some credit. You're doing the best you can. But if you want to try a loose structure with this theming idea, give this a shot. This one's a lot of fun and it can be done for all ages. Last thing I want to tell you, I posted a picture of my kids and their, their uh, drawings um, just for proof that it can be done for all ages. I posted a picture of my kids and their drawings of their cars and my friend who went to the Savannah College of Art and Design um, and majored in this, she said that that was actually one of the assignments uh, in her college course was to design a car um, or change uh, from a normal car to something that's really exciting. So you can go crazy with this and it can be done for all levels. So I just think it's really cool for families of multiple children of multiple ages that you could actually have the same theme, but change the activities based on the age of the kids. And I thought it would be such a cool bonding experience for brothers and sisters, siblings who have a big age gap to actually be working on and learning the same concepts um, and how cool that would be for, for the education of teacher, a brother and sister teaching the little guys. Just thought that'd be a fun idea. All right, I hope you had an amazing today, day today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel so that you get all of the updates, all of the latest ideas, activities, resources, and all of us parents, it's time for us to stick together, help each other out. Please make sure to join the Facebook group, The Parent Hive, to get all of this in real time. We'll see you on the next video.